outside. It's Sunday morning, April 10th, 2022. Out here, looking at our chainsaws. It's a great spring morning. It's supposed to be 50 today. So here's common chainsaw to pull in 50 20. It's 50 cc, comes to 20 inch bar. And uh, I've used it a little bit. Got a rope down the cylinder. So we need to replace the clutch drum. She shot. I don't know if you can see. She's chewed up in there. Anyway, waiting on the new clutch drum and the proper tool to remove the clutch. Because the sprocket's worn out. I think the bearing's worn out. So that's where we're at with this. But I'm pretty happy with the saw. I think I bought it refurbished. It's done a good job. I've definitely got my money out of it. This is the plug that came out of it. Where are we at here? It's good coloring. It's kind of a chocolate brown. A little dark, but it looks pretty good. I've never adjusted the carburetor. Uh, just how I got it. Might not be able to get it to focus. Anyhow. Yep, real happy with the saw. The nice thing about this is I only kicked the chain once when it was pretty worn out, you know. Um, but the chain goes back into here and it, it's kind of held on. You know, it's not going to slip out because it's back in there. On this Timberwolf 590, which is a common saw as well, there's nothing really... Holding that chain on, so it'd be nice if this washer were, you know, at least large enough, at least the size of the sprocket, to hold the teeth in there on the chain. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with it right now, but I may end up doing that, modifying that, you know, just a larger washer here. Like, like I said, the size of the sprocket to hold that chain on. I got it outfitted with the. Uh, a little larger than recommended bar, 28 inch bar, because why not? That's the size we got. So we'll see what happens.